I love crispy skin fish, and I think most people think of salad and fish as the perfect accompaniment. But when the weather's a little cooler, I want something a bit heartier. So today I'm gonna to show you how to butter-based crispy skin barramundi with a cauliflower puree and some Tuscan kale. It is really rich and delicious and very, very hearty. You're gonna love it. I have some barramundi. It is absolutely delicious. Let's get cooking. So you grab a small knife, and the first thing you're gonna do with your cauliflower is just go around and you remove that little cork. All of the leaves will just naturally fall off. Go ahead and put all of those florets onto your tray. You get a little bit of olive oil and just the lightest little drizzle. Season it with some salt and some pepper. And then we throw it into an oven at about 200 degrees. I have my saucepan on a medium heat and what we do next is take a little butter Add some onions. We're gonna sweat those over a medium to high heat. Once they've been in for a minute or two, go ahead and add your chopped garlic. That'll get really fragrant really quickly. So give that a little stir as well. And of course, to turn this into a beautiful puree, we're gonna use all of that gorgeous cauliflower and some of this wonderful kale. This is Tuscan kale. We remove the stem because it's a little bit fibrous, so it's kind of tough and chewy. And of course the leaf is what's delicious and tender. And then all you're gonna do, once you've removed all of those stems, just go ahead and chop it, just roughly. Grab that kale and toss it straight in with your onions and garlic. Give it a good stir. You'll hear it sizzle and pop. Take the leftover cauliflower, and you can just run your knife through that one more time. You don't have to, but it will cook a little faster if you do. And then add that to your Tuscan kale. And then we cover the whole lot with milk. Season it with a little salt and a little pepper. You pop your lid back in and you cook all of those vegetables until they are fork tender. And that is good. We're gonna pop it all straight into our blender. Now you reserve the liquid because you might use some of that liquid to help this to turn. But you're not making a soup, you're making a puree. So you don't want too much of the liquid. Otherwise it'll become too thin. Make sure you give it just a little bit more salt, a little bit more pepper, and then you can pop your lid on. Okay, here we go. Our puree is ready, so I'm gonna move that to one side. Go ahead and stick your pan on the heat, but before you give it a chance to get really hot, what I want you to do is give it a little drizzle of oil, season your barramundi fillet, you drop that into the cold pan, I season the other side of the fish as well with just a little bit more salt and just a drop more oil. Can you hear that sizzle? It sounds unbelievable and it's gonna taste even better. This is beautiful barramundi. Now that skin is getting beautiful and crisp. You might wanna have a little peek at what's happening underneath there. It's getting nice and golden. That skin is gonna be perfectly crisp. I've scored the skin and watch what I'm gonna do now. I flip it over. You can see how it just falls back down, and this is the key. Take a couple of pieces of butter. Now the butter, of course, gives wonderful, wonderful flavor. You can also add a few thyme leaves in. And then we baste that brown butter straight over the top of the fish, just like this. I'm gonna kill the temperature in my pan, and we prepare the kale. Slice your kale like that, and then into a bowl, we take a little lemon juice, season with salt and pepper. And before I even add the olive oil, I toss it with that lemon juice because it will help wilt ever so slightly, making a really light vinaigrette. Use the extra virgin olive oil, of course. Everything is set. I'm going back to my oven to pull out that cauliflower. Now to make sure it's done, just get yourself a small knife like this one, poke it in, and it should kind of just fall straight back out. If it sticks on the knife, then it probably needs a little bit longer, but that looks absolutely perfect. We are ready to serve and I am very, very excited. So, you can put a beautiful big pile of this puree on. I'm actually gonna put just one big spoon like that and then just pour my spoon through it. Take the gorgeous barramundi and serve to one side. A Couple of those florets of cauliflower. Tuscan kale served on the side like that. And of course, for me, a good piece of crispy skin fish Needs just a few drops of lemon juice over the top. And that is a really simple supper that you can pull off with this cold weather. I tell you what, you will absolutely love the flavors in that dish. 